having his second professional fight. Uh, what do you think we'll expect? Well, what do you expect to see from yourself? We, we saw over the road here, you, you stopped your last opponents. Uh, what do you do on the 3rd of December? Yeah, I think I just want to improve. You know, it'll be uh, you know, my fourth time in the ring now with those other two charity bouts. And I think every time I've gotten better, and obviously uh, from the first fight, you know, I, I had a lot to learn from it. I was hit by a big puncher and dropped in the first round. But managed to come back and win. So, um, yeah, that, that's, that's a probably the most important thing is improving and obviously getting the win. There was uh, a bit of talk of you fighting Kimbo Slice on, on this card. Uh, the American former UFC fighter who's gone to boxing and made a bit of a name for himself and had a great fight here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre last year. Um, were you disappointed that, that that couldn't come off a fight against Kimbo? Oh, look, I think it would have been. I think it would have been great for everyone to see. That's for sure. We would have been crowds and, and things like that. And it, yeah, it had a lot of interest in it, but uh, the, the boys um, couldn't get him out here at the moment. I don't think he's fought since since he fought in Sydney that time. Um, and, and, yeah, they're talking about maybe early next year, so we'll wait and see if the boys can get him out of early next year and um, hopefully they might be able to come off. Uh, if not, I was concentrating on this fight at the moment anyway. I know Anthony Watson is uh, really keen to fight him. Right, have you heard from him at all? Or I know that when you picked your own last opponent, you, you actually looked at the videos and chose the fighter that you wanted to go up against. Uh, what about with, with, with this opponent? Oh, I, I wasn't exactly like that. I just said I wanted to fight someone incredible, you know. And, he was, he was a young bloke, so we went with him. Um, look, Anthony Watts, about 12 months ago, I, I, our media manager came around down to me on the field and said, do you fight Anthony Watts? And I, I didn't know what he was talking about. And Anthony apparently told a judge he meant bail because he's got to fight Paul Gallen. And uh, that was the first I've heard of it. And ever since then, um, you know, apparently he's been called Bill and Gary, saying he wants to fight me. So he's obviously been training. I think he's got his, a fight coming up next week. Um, and if he wins that, then we will confirm that he's going to fight me on the 3rd of December. So. I'm looking forward to it. I, I, uh, I know him. He's, he's, a good, he's a good kid. I always got on a ride with him um, when, when I actually played with him. And after he left us, uh, every time I saw him around the footy, footy traps, you know, I spoke with him. So there's no bad blood there, but he's obviously um, trying to turn his life around, which I, I take my heart off to him for. And he's trying to do the right thing now. He's in a sport that's very disciplined and, um, you know, he wants to fight me. Have you seen anything of him fighting? Do you, you know how well he goes? No, I've got no idea. He's, he's about 20 kilos heavier than last time I saw him. So. He's a, he's a big boy at the moment, and um, I, I don't know a lot about him, but I imagine, imagine he's going to be able to punch pretty hard and see what happens. I know you're considered the co-captain of this Team New South Wales alongside Daniel Gill. Uh, you're the captain of the New South Wales State Origin team as well. Tell us about the New South Wales Queensland theme we should expect on the night, and how much does that add, do you think? Will you be chatting maybe to some of the other fighters, the, the other blokes who are in your dressing room? Oh, I don't think I'll be giving any fighters advice now, but I'll, uh, I think it's a, um, I think it's a great, great concept, obviously. Gender and hatred between the two states, uh, especially around state of origin time. But hopefully, a bit of that comes into this night and uh, everyone gets on and watches it. One thing for sure is um, you know, my opponent's going to have four million people in his, in his, in his, uh, in his corner, um, helping me to be like the Queensland anyway. So uh, hopefully, they all get on and watch it and um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to beat him. I've got no doubt about that. Will you stop him? Uh, you're 1 0 with, with one knockout. You want to get that record oh, going? Yeah, it would be nice, obviously. But um, like I said, I think the most important thing is just improving on my performance. And, and get the win, which I'm pretty confident I'll do. Um, a bit of an elephant in the room one. Um, we, you're talking about a fight you're, you've got on, on December 3, but we read in the paper today that you've had a, a bit of another fight going on, and I wonder if you'd like to say anything about that publicly. No, not at all. It's, um, it's, a, it's an issue that, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not for me to talk about at the moment. I'm going there. It's, a, it's, a, it's a something that I, um, uh, I support people who come out and talk about it. I encourage people to talk about it. It's a very serious issue, but I won't be discussing it with anyone on that now, I trust. Are you unhappy about that article being written today, or are you okay? Um, oh, look, it's, it is what it is. You know, I, can't, I can't change what's been written. And, um, you know, I just have to deal with it and move on, mate. Paul, we saw what you put on Twitter last week. Do you feel let down by authorities in rugby league? Yeah, yeah, that's it. about boxing, Ben. You know, yeah, yeah. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a fight. Um, you know, I uh, I put something on Twitter. I, I use language I shouldn't use, um, but I'm, I'm here to um, I'm here to talk about boxing. That's what I want to do. Boxing is giving me a, a massive uh, focus apart from rugby league, and it's giving me something I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to the third of December. I'm looking forward to training. I haven't been able to train for a long time um, for different reasons, and I'm looking. I'm starting training today, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna be Best prepared I've ever been, jump in the ring. I'll ask you a boxing question, Gal. You mentioned you wanted to pick your first 
opponent because you want someone credible. There's not a lot of credibility there with with what. So you a bit embarrassed or, or nervous about attaching yourself to, to a guy that's got a bit of a sideshow on and about. Oh, look, I just said to, to Gary and Bill, I said, look, I'm willing to fight anyone in and around at the level I'm at. You know, I'm not going to get a jump in with anyone in the top 10 in Australia or who's had 10 or 15 fights, but anyone who's at, you know, who's in and around me who you think's going to be uh, good for the show, you know, pick them. And you know, they've, they've been emailing me and calling me every day. Anthony Watts has been ringing them every day and wants to fight me. So, uh, yeah, he's, that's the reason I'm going that way. Well, how much further, how much further would you like to take boxing? I just, I just want to improve. I want to be, you know, same as my rugby league. I want to be the best I can be at it, and um, you know, I just want to improve every every time I go out there, and every time I train. I'll be lucky enough, Daniel and Graham, giving me the opportunity to train with them, and uh, you know, I put that in footy terms, like an SG ball player going to train with first graders, and um, you know, I'm looking forward to that opportunity to train with a you know, two-time world champion. And, uh, as I said, I just, I just want to keep improving every fight, and you know, I, I really enjoy it. And I really like the training. Uh, Daniel, I'll ask you a question of you, mate. Regarding Paul Gallen, you, you would have seen his improvement over the last uh, year or so in boxing. Uh, how far do you think that potentially Paul Gallen can go in boxing? Uh, I think the big question is, you know, how far does Paul, Paul Gallen want to go in, in boxing? I mean, he's got the dedication, the commitment. Um, you, know, you can tell he, he loves training, he loves his sport as well, you know, which, which I respect. And I know there have been guys in the past that have uh, done boxing you know, as, as a bit of a sideshow, but that, that's not at all for Gal, and uh, you know, I respect that. Um, so yeah, it's more about how much he wants to put into it, is uh, pretty much how much he'll be able to get out of it.